Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and today we gotta talk about the Bitcoin bear market and the cryptocurrency bear market because, in particular, we gotta talk about the people in the cryptocurrency space because I've seen so many people in my comment section, in other people's comment sections, on forums, on Twitter, in my Discord, in the news, the media, just completely freaking out because of this Bitcoin bear market. And I've really just got to talk about them today, so let's talk about them. A lot of the people that are freaking out with cryptocurrency right now, they're new. And if, if you're freaking out about cryptocurrency, I'm going to assume that you're new here. Um, that's not an insult, I'm just going to assume that because, I mean, we, we see pullbacks all the time. But welcome if you're new here, we want new people in the cryptocurrency space. But I've seen so many people that are new here in cryptocurrency, and they see a pullback like this, and they start freaking out. They're running around like they're chickens with their heads cut off. They're... They're acting like the sky is falling. They're acting like the movie 2012 is happening in their backyard or something. I don't know what's going on in their head, but they're freaking out. They're acting like the world's ending. That's not that's not what's happening, okay? I, I think we can all agree that the world is not over yet. The North Korea hasn't decided to launch, launch nukes at us or anything yet. <laughs> but they're freaking out. And the reason they're freaking out is because they're having their bear market virginity taken from them. And it's rather uncomfortable. I guess, they're, I guess they don't like it that much. I can understand why. If you, a lot of people in my comment section have said, "Oh, Jeb, I bought up here at twenty thousand, and now Bitcoin pulled back to six thousand. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sell. I'm just, I can't take the stress anymore." And I understand that. I understand that it's stressful. I completely understand this stressful. Believe me, I understand this stressful. Let me start with an analogy. Let's say for your entire life you wanted to be a surgeon. Let's say for your entire life you wanted to be a surgeon, and you go through medical school, and you're a couple years into medical school. And then you find out that you're deathly afraid of blood. Or let's say you want to be a firefighter, and for all of your life you've trained to be a firefighter, you always want to be a firefighter, that's what you've always said you wanted to do. That's your calling in life. And then you're going through training, and you go out to the burn building, and you're working, and you're practicing, and then you realize you're deathly afraid of fire. What can these two people do in this situation? They have one of two options that they can, sh that they can take. They can either walk away from their dream and never come back and walk away from their dream because they had a little bit of a fear that they weren't willing to conquer, or they can conquer that fear. They have one of two options. The surgeon who always wanted to be a surgeon, he always wanted to be a surgeon, that was his calling in life, he always wanted to be a surgeon, that was his dream. He can walk away from his dream and not really ha and not really know what to do in life anymore because he, he, he can't do his dream anymore because he's scared of blood, or he can conquer his fear and not be afraid of a little bit of blood. He can do that. The firefighter, the potential firefighter can walk away from his dream, never become a firefighter, or he can conquer his fear of a fi of fire because he wants to help people and he wants to save people. And he says, okay, well, I want to help people. I want to save people from fire. So to do that, I got to conquer my fear of fire. They can either walk away from their dream and not really have, not really know what to do with their lives, or they can conquer their fear. They have those two options. So let's go back to the surgeon example. Say they're afraid of a little bit of blood. You know, people say the market's bleeding when you see a red day like this, and that's a good analogy. If you want to invest in cryptocurrency, there's something that you got to do, and that is you got to keep your emotions out of it. You got to keep your emotions out of it. For goodness sakes, keep your emotions out of cryptocurrency. It's so important because people that are freaking out are people that are new here, and they don't know what they're doing. And that's not an insult. It's not an insult. If you're new here, welcome. Please stay around because Bitcoin's not going to be in a bear market forever. But people are freaking out. Because Bitcoin had a pullback. So what? Let's look at the bigger picture here. If we come out here to the day... Actually, let's come out here to the month. I have something prepared for you. Let's come out here to the month. This is all of cryptocurrency history. This is all of cryptocurrency history. My median audience age is in between around 25 to 34, I think it is. And a, a majority of you are on the younger side than on the older side of that. So let's say you're going to retire somewhere between 2040 and 2050, and let's say you want to retire somewhere around there. This is the entire history of cryptocurrency. It's the entire history of cryptocurrency right here. This line right here is 2040. This line right here is 2050. You see this giant bear, uh, bull market that we had and this tiny little bear market? If you're not watching in 1080p, you probably can't even see it. You probably can't even see those red candles. I know I can barely see, and I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one recording the video. You see how much room we have? This line right here is 2019. That's uh, the end of 2018. This line over here is 2040. So let's say you're going to retire 32 years from now. What do you care about the short-term bear, short bear market? What do you care if Bitcoin goes down to $100 again? What do you care? In fact, if you're trading on the long-term scale, which because cryptocurrency is going to take over the world, it's going to just completely dominate, you should be happy that there's a pullback happening. If you're worried right now, it's probably because you're you're focused on making money quick. A lot of people that get new that are new into cryptocurrency, 
they'll trade on the on the hour chart and I do technical analysis on the hour chart mainly because it interests me but I don't trade by it a lot of people that are new to cryptocurrency have heard about Bitcoin going from 200 to 20,000 and they start saying oh okay that's a get-rich-quick scheme I'll buy some of that and then I'll sell it two days later and I'll be a freaking billionaire and I'll buy a private island and a helicopter and a private plane and a and a paramotor and on my private island I'll buy 10 strippers and we'll have a giant party and I'll party and I'll, I'll drink margaritas on the beach for the rest of my life well I hate to break it to you but that's not the way markets work that's called a because that's that's called a Ponzi scheme that's called a scam what you're what someone that's thinking that way wants that's not the way a market works Bitcoin is a market just like any other and it goes through bear markets and goes through bull markets. And we had a very long bull market, and we're having a little bit of a long bear market to pair, uh, to, to go along with it. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a market, and you got to learn to trade the market, and you got to learn how to be, um, you got to learn how to keep your emotions out of said market so that you'll actually make some money. Uh, it, it really pains me seeing people selling because they see this when they could be buying and then see this. I mean, there's red here, but there's green there. If you If you sold up here... Bought here, sold there, you made money. If you uh, bought here, sold here, bought there, you lost money. It's pretty simple. The entire premise of trading is to buy low and sell high. That's kind of the entire point. So if you're the one that's freaking out and selling down here at 6,000, you're just selling to people that know what they're doing. <laughs> the people at the peaks of markets, the people buying at the bottom and selling at the top, they know what they're doing. The people that are freaking out are selling at the bottom and buying at the top and they're losing money. And then the people that do that, they get disenfranchised and they leave and it makes cryptocurrency grow slower because that's someone that says, okay, I'm never going to touch cryptocurrency again. And there are people that say that. I've seen them in my comment section. I've talked to them personally. It's sad to see because cryptocurrency is going to go to the moon and those people are going to go to retire in 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years and they're going to say, crap, I could have bought 10 Bitcoin when it was worth $6,000 and I could have had a million dollars by now. I could have bought $60,000 worth of Bitcoin and retired and not had to work for the next 30 years of the remainder of my life. They could have done that. But instead, they sold down here because they couldn't take the heat. They didn't have the iron fists that you need for cryptocurrency. So if you don't have those iron fists, or if you're afraid of a little bit of blood, or if you're afraid of that fire, here's what you can do. Here's what you can do if you're scared of the short-term market. Here's what you do. You never go on the hour chart. You come out here to the week chart. You say, okay, let's zoom in here. You say, okay. Bitcoin's had a little bit of a pullback. Looks like it's going back up again. I'll buy some, like down here. Buy some. And then I'm going to throw it in a Ledger Nano S, shove it in a drawer, and forget about it for the next five years. And then I come back, and then, oh, oh crap, I'm a millionaire. I didn't even know it. I had a million dollars stashed in my wallet, in my drawer. If you're worried about the short-term market, then don't pay attention to the short-term market. Don't watch my videos, because I talk about the short-term market a lot. But in this video, I'm talking about the long-term market. 20000 of an all-time high for Bitcoin is going to be laughably cheap in five years. Mark my words. People thought that $1,000, the $1,200 was an unbelievably high price to pay for Bitcoin back when this market happened at the end of 2013. Now we're all freaking out because if Bitcoin goes to a fifth, if Bitcoin goes to five times this all-time high, we're freaking out. That being $6,000, which was the pullback. 20000 is 20000 doesn't mean anything. This market doesn't mean anything. The market's going to go back up. Just calm down. Stop freaking out. There's no reason to freak out. Just, it really pains me to see people freak out about the short-term market because that's not the point. The point is you want to make money. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. If you want a get-rich-quick scheme, I don't know, go go start some go start some company and get federal funding and then walk away with the money. There you go. That's some that's some get that's a get-rich-quick scheme. I don't, I, go do something like that. Go go to Las Vegas if you want to get rich quick. That's not going to happen in cryptocurrency. People think that's going to happen because we had a long bear, a uh, long bull market, and now everybody's thinking the opposite that. Bitcoin is a way to lose all your money, and neither are true. It's just a market like any other. And it really pains me when people call it a Ponzi scheme or a scam or something, because cryptocurrency is going to revolutionize the world. And I, I would bet my position on that, because I am betting my position on that. That's kind of the, that's kind of what investing is, isn't it? Anyway, guys, it really, it really pains me to see people like that. I think I've said that about five times now, but it's true. I'm speaking from the heart here, because cryptocurrency is going to go to the moon one day. And those people that sold down here at 6,000, are going to get left behind. And then they're going to be the ones that are upset in 10 years. It's not going to be us, because the people that are invested now, we're going to be happy in 10 years, because we're all going to be millionaires. I mean, just buying right now and forgetting about this cryptocurrency for the next 10 years, if you buy a, a decent amount of it, we're all going to be millionaires. It's, it, it's, it's easy. This market is so young. The market cap's $500 million, if you or $500 billion. If you extrapolate the market cap of the Forex markets, they're like $100 trillion in valuation. You mean to tell me that cryptocurrency isn't going to go there also? 
if, if cryptocurrency goes to a quarter of that, we're going to be very, very wealthy. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you think I'm an idiot and you want to come yell at me about it, you can feel free to join the Discord. I'm more than happy to hear you rant for a couple of minutes before I ban you. But if you also want to rant, then uh, that'll be in the comment section down below as well. You can come, you can yell at me down there or you can yell at me in person in the Discord server. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please think about leaving a like and subscribing because I do daily cryptocurrency content. I do daily cryptocurrency videos just like this. We'll be getting back to the regular videos in the next couple of days. Thank you for a 1,000 subscribers, by the way, if you've been here for that long. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.